Chapter 16 Then I heard a mighty voice shouting from the temple to the seven angels, Now go your ways and empty out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl over the earth, and horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea, and it became like the blood of a corpse, and everything in the sea died. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the rivers and springs, and they became blood. And I heard the angel who had authority over all water saying, You are just in sending this judgment, O Holy One, who is and who always was. For your holy people and your prophets have been killed, and their blood was poured out on the earth. So you have given their murderers blood to drink. It is their just reward. And I heard a voice from the altar saying, Yes, Lord God Almighty, your punishments are true and just. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, causing it to scorch everyone with its fire. Everyone was burned by this blast of heat, and they cursed the name of God who sent all of these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his kingdom was plunged into darkness, and his subjects ground their teeth in anguish, and they cursed the God of heaven for their pains and sores, but they refused to repent of all their evil deeds. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great Euphrates River, and it dried up so that the kings from the east could march their armies westward without hindrance. And I saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs leap from the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. These miracle-working demons caused all the rulers of the world to gather for battle against the Lord on that great judgment day of God Almighty. Take note. I will come as unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are all who are watching for me, who keep their robes ready so they will not need to walk naked and ashamed. And they gathered all the rulers and their armies to a place called Armageddon in Hebrew. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a mighty shout came from the throne of the temple in heaven, saying, It is finished! Then the thunder crashed and rolled, and lightning flashed, and there was an earthquake greater than ever before in human history. The great city of Babylon split into three pieces, and cities around the world fell into heaps of rubble. And so God remembered all of Babylon's sins, and he made her drink the cup that was filled with the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island disappeared, and all the mountains were leveled. There was a terrible hailstorm, and hailstones weighing seventy-five pounds fell from the sky onto the people below. They cursed God because of the hailstorm, which was a very terrible plague.